as you may already know, whenever you smooth in voxel mode, it tends to dissolve or melt the voxels or the surface beneath, almost like a hot utensil melting butter. So let me hide the head and just try and demonstrate what I'm referring to. When I hold the shift key and smooth, you can see it has a dissolving effect. And also, if you have areas that are very close together, it tends to join them. So sometimes that's an undesirable effect. Sometimes that's what you want. It's very nice whenever you're trying to actually uh, fill in gaps like this, especially if they're very rough. But what I wanted to show is sometimes when you're in surface mode, that very type of effect doesn't really exist except for one small exception. And that's that one exception is what I wanted to demonstrate here. So I'm going to hide that pair of teeth and unhide the head, unghost it. And I'm going to go to an orthographic view by hitting a 5 key on the number pad. And then a 2 key for frontal view. And what I want to do is hide half the head here. So choose surface hide. Make sure ignore back faces is unchecked as well as depth limit. And I'm going to check my symmetry, make sure it's not on. It's not. Okay come out of orthographic view and this would be an ideal time to actually dissolve an object that you find or discover especially inside a model because sometimes that can cause issues with baking so let's try and dissolve this using a standard brush in conjunction with a shift action menu option now both the shift action and the control shift action menus are identical but you can alternate them. What we want to look at is reconstruct. This has been improved a little bit but the function is still the same. And this essentially gives you much of the same capability as if you were working in voxel mode using smooth. You'll see how it basically degrades or dissolves the different objects just like it would if you were in voxel mode. So that one tool is the only one that can dissolve little stray pieces of your model in 3D space. Alternatively, you could, if you're in surface mode, right click and choose separate disconnected pieces. But I find sometimes the calculation can take a little while, so this might be the best method to use initially and see how it works for you. And so that's going to conclude this quick tip about using the reconstruct option among the shift action menus whenever you're in surface mode in 3D Code Sculpt Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.